let's talk about converting metric units. Some of you have heard of this before. King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. It's a way that we can break down all the steps of our metric units. We know metric is a function of tens. So as we go up a step, we are going to move one decimal place. As we go down a step, we're going to move one decimal place as in a factor of 10. In between milli and micro, there's three steps. In between kilo and mega, there's three steps. This center red line is going to represent just our units of measure. So that could be grams, that could be liters, that could be pascals, or that could be meters. But they're going to live on the center line there. What that means for us is that if I had 4 meters, then I would have 4.0 meters. Now if I want to convert that to millimeters, so let's convert that to millimeters. So the way we would do that is we look at the chart and we see from where we are now, where the decimal place is now, we're going to have to go one, two, three steps to get to millimeters. Well that means we're going to have to go one, two, three decimal places. So now our four meters becomes one, two, three, four thousand millimeters. So this can be used to convert any of our units from millimeters to megameters if we wanted to. So let's do that. Let's clear the screen here. And let's convert 8 millimeters to megameters. Not sure when we'd ever need to do this, but it's an option. So we would fill in 8.0 millimeters. And we would look at where we're at for mega and we'd see, well, from here I have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 steps. So that means I would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 decimal places. And so now my 8 millimeters is now 0 decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 decimal places. And now we would have converted millimeters to megameters.